I am looking forward today. I'm meeting up with a guy named Tim, a local legend, a cowboy, a vagabond who's made his home. Well, he's not actually a vagabond. He's built a beautiful home here in the mountains and all of this property is his. We're gonna be riding some horses and uh, I don't have a ton of experience riding horses. I'm from Arizona, the land of cowboys, but I've only ridden horses maybe four or five times. Uh, in my life. So it'll be interesting to get an experience seeing what his horses are like and getting to actually ride around in this mountainous terrain. I think it'll be quite an experience. Uh, from what I hear, he's got some stories to tell and uh, he's lived a pretty interesting life. So I think it'll be a pretty interesting day here in Colorado. <laughs> well, I've been out here. I came out here in uh, 1979 from New Hampshire. That picture with Jeremiah Johnson yeah. was a favorite movie of mine. I saw it in 1973 with my dad and then uh, a week later my family was watching an air show. I wasn't with them and a car flew off the highway and killed everybody and I was the only one left and I'm 13 years old and so I saw that movie and I said that's what I'm going to do with my life. But that's how, kind of how it all started for me, you know. It's yeah. like, I just, just like, what are you going to do now, you know. <laughs> so, that's wild. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. But uh, here we sit. And how long have you been out here now? Uh, 40 years. 41 years? I came out here in 79? No, 40 years. This is 40 years. Yeah. I figure I've probably got about 65,000 miles in the saddle so far. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I do <laughs> wow, that's really A lot of time in the saddle. All at three miles an hour, you know? Life at three <laughs> miles an hour. That's my motto. But uh, yeah, it's, you know. That's a lot of hours. Yeah. A lot of time at just cruising, you know. I've solved every world problem there is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't have done it that way. <laughs> But no, it's, it's it a real honor. I mean, everything's quiet, you know, when yeah. you're cruising through the park. I mean, this park has great trails, number one. You've got a great string of mules, and you're just cruising, and it's quiet, and you just don't have to talk to anybody yeah. except for, please step out of the way. <laughs> my horses are right in this meadow, okay? So on Mondays, I bring four people from my house. I meet them down here. I bring them over here. We catch the horses, and then we ride up Grizzly Gulch. We go through the homesteads. No, 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 no. We ride to my house. Yeah. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, I do a ride around Pearson Mountain down to this homestead and come back up. And then Fridays, I ride them back down to the ranch. And so I never truck and trailer. Mm -hmm. I get paid to move my horses. Wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Solid business. Hello. Yeah. Sharp as a marble. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, 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 I mean, actually, I think TripAdvisor ranks me number one in, in Estes for the horseback riding such yeah. so, things so far. But um, so you're just, the guy. You're the guy to come to. By good. Well, yes. Well, for horses anyway. Right on. <laughs> Women, not so good. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate. Yeah. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we'll shut this down. Okay. We'll head on out. We'll grab the boys. Sounds good. Dude, that's Hank. That's Frankie Frank. The man, the myth, the legend, Stanley. JD will just follow. All right. I'll follow too. So to get them the grain. Is there a particular breed of horse that does better? Nah, worse quarter out horses here? are the best, really, for out, out here. A quarter horse? But I have thoroughbreds, I've had mules, I've had a bunch of different kinds. One, two. Oh. Okay. This is cool. I don't have a lot of experiences with horses, but I'm from Arizona, so I feel like I should by proxy. Just been around some horses. But uh, yeah, this will be about the first time I've done some real cowboying in a long time. We're gonna be hanging out today. You good with that, buddy? I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> so JD, you say is uh Super Jim. He's the oldest horse I got. He's 19. Okay. He's been there, done that. I've had him. I don't know how many years I've had him. A long time. Yeah. But he's just, he's the go-to guy. So he probably won't buck me off? Well, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> the goal here is, is to try to be as light as, light as a feather if you can and get the job done, you know? Um, Look at him, look at his eyes. So, you know, he's all quiet, he's all mellow. You want to get things done together, you know. Equitation is a really fascinating sport because you have an animal mind and a human mind trying to get the same job done. 
Maximum response with minimum pressure is always your goal. Yeah. You know, I have one horse named Brody, he's just huge. He's like 1,400 pounds. I can just touch him on one side and he's, he moves off. I mean, if you can move 1,400 pounds with your finger, that's amazing. And that's basically what we're doing, yeah. you know? So if you want to go forward, you feel like you want to go forward. Like, I want to go forward. So I, I lean forward, I, I bump with both legs, and he goes forward. Good, easy, ho. Want to go to the right? I help with my right leg, bring him around. Good. And you just, and just, man, let them know they're good. Because these guys are, they're smart. They read you the second you're on their back. They know exactly who you are and what they can get away with. All horses are six-year-old boys, okay? They're always going to see what they can get away with. Grab your knot. Okay. Just like that. Okay, relax your hands. We're all good. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy. We're going for a ride today. Yep, quick to praise, patient to reprimand. I'll be nice to you, you be nice to me, all right? How about that? All right, Jack Daniels. Let's have a good day today. Starting to get the hang of this. Not so bad, huh? Yeah, it's feeling good. JD's a good horse. So which which mountains are these? That's twin sisters. Twin sisters. That's it. You got yourself a nice view. Hey, you're not allowed to eat yet. Yeah, don't let him eat. You're not hungry. Hey, JD. Pull his head up. Uh, uh, got me. Getting a good day on the horses here. This is JD. Tim's showing me the ropes and the reins here. And uh, we're getting to ride around uh, through some of his property here just outside of Estes Park. And cannot be more impressed with the landscape, the horses, it's quite an experience. And uh, as Tim has been saying, just getting out here and just not hearing any of the noises, but the, the noises that you're making that the horses are making. It's truly a spectacular experience. And uh, I'm not very experienced with horses in general, but uh, Tim's showing me really how to ride and uh, how to work with JD here. And uh, couldn't be asking for a better day. It's a spectacular day in the mountains. Woo! What a day! Oh, they're nuzzling each other. Oh, you little rascals. They're giving each other some love. Oh, the loving. So much. <laughs> you are so that was awesome. <laughs> got a good, good scheme here. It's fun, isn't it? You found a way to make a business of being in this spectacular spot. How many days can you pull this off? That's my motto. <laughs> well, just wrapped up riding horses with Tim here on his property, set just on the doorstep of Rocky Mountain National Park, which is just over those two peaks right there. So it's just been a spectacular day. Uh, getting to hear some stories, hear some cowboy tales, and uh, ride some beautiful horses through beautiful terrain. Couldn't ask for a better day, and uh, I think coming up later, we might have some elk burgers and some whiskey. Uh, so we're living it up here in the Colorado way of life. <laughs> what are we gonna do tonight? Oh, man, more fun. We're gonna go that way. We're gonna take over the overlook. You can see the lights at Denver. Oh, yeah?